back here. We're gonna we're gonna get a a session of heel work in. Um, day kind of got away on me. It's in the afternoon here, getting into the evening. I haven't done anything with Makina yet. So today, other than place, um, worked from the computer, had her in her crate quite a bit today. So energy level, the girls are home already from school and they're working on dinner and stuff. And I said, I really got to work Makina. And my wife nodded and looked at me and I got that sense that yes, you do need to work with her. And I think it's just because she, she was on place and she was antsy. And so we're going to take her out. I brought her down here. The guys asked, can you film down the driveway a little bit further because it will work better for their cameras? And I said, yeah. And I, it made me think, you know, I want to explain, and I did explain to those guys, you know, we're going to be able to move with me. You guys are going to be able to move with me eventually. But I think, and, and we'll look at it today, and I think I've made a point myself the last couple days because I don't think we filmed, we didn't film yesterday, did we? The day before we did. So... In the last two days, I've made a point of realizing, I've just kind of, I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier, but she hasn't been on the lead that much with the exception of when we film. So she does a lot better when we're not filming. That's always seems to be the rule. But the idea of the lack of repetition certainly doesn't help us so the more we do something with the dogs the better they get with it you know like why is it taking me so long to have these light bulb moments it's because i don't think about it i don't think about it when i realize um you know we just aren't i'm not doing much heel work how come well because i am working with her and running and ranging and recalling and all that stuff and she's gotten really good at it and we've done it a lot and she's not very good at heel and it's because I think we are always trying to film it. And because we're always trying to film it, it doesn't happen that often. And so I actually, I wanna document the steps, but in one day, like literally one day off of filming, I probably put her on the lead two or three times and I walked her, I mean, you guys saw me, I walked her down to the shop a couple of times, I think yesterday, twice. That, just that healing back and forth from the shop to the house, which is a few hundred yards max, has imp I think it's improved it, and I think it has to do with this repetition. She's starting to get used to the idea of being on the lead, and it doesn't necessarily paralyze her. It doesn't get her sticky. It doesn't get her as stiff. She's not as anxious. She's a little excited about it. And so these are all confidence things. These are all things that she's getting so used to it that she's overcoming the, the mental part of it, and now it, we can start working on the physical part of it, which is positioning and understanding the mechanics of it. So I think it's going to get better. And with that being said, eventually she's going to get so damn good at it with you guys standing still and stationary that we're going to say, okay, this time I want you to move your feet a little bit and make some noise. And she realizes, wait a minute, he's moving. She'll pay attention, but she'll go, nah, it's no big deal. Let's keep moving. So we're going to get there. So what I was saying in the beginning was, eventually you will be able to follow me. Now, she's ramping up. This is perfect. Bold little bugger right now. So if she jumps up on me, you're gonna see what I just did with her. I just bumped her right off me. I put my knee into her and I push her down. <clears throat> Let's get right into the session here. So you're good with me going back and forth. I'll kind of stay in this distance. Makina, heel. The other thing I'm doing a little bit differently and I started doing this the other day was, you know, my, my mechanics of putting my hands in the right position. I got home, I call it home row. It's like typing, a keyboard. So you got to put your hands in the exact same spot to understand where the feel is. Now, the difference, or the hard part with this is the dog's growing. So my home row is going to change with her. Uh, we're still on that flat collar with her, just a flat nylon collar. But her position's really good. You know, you recognize the tail as a real indicator of her confidence. She's leaning into me a little much, so I'm gonna get her off me. I don't mind her snuggling up with her shoulder, but I do mind her when she gets to the point where we start tripping on each other and I start stepping on feet. I don't want that. So real indicator is that tail. She's confident today. What is that from? Well. We probably doubled the amount of times we walked on lead in the last 72 hours, and that's going from three to six. So it's a great example of like repetition makes such a difference. She becomes so much more comfortable. I've put her on the lead and walked her around in the house for just really short little stints. Good. Man, she's just, it, it's, I, I'm embarrassed to say it took me this long to realize why we were struggling. Well. 
It's because we didn't do it very much. I'm gonna turn into her here. Good, good. Good girl. I'm gonna vary my pace. Good girl. Look at that. Beautiful. Come on, come on, come on. Good. Good girl. Good turn. Good turn. So I think I've, sh I've tightened up my mechanics. Right hand and left hand on the lead, better control. I was for a long time, if you watch the early videos, I was doing a lot of this. And a lot of it had to do is because I was dancing this thing around because she just wasn't in position. She's settled into position, so I'm able to get my hands in a little bit better position. And the reason this is gonna be valuable is if she gets out in front, it's just easier for me to get a nice little pop on her. Nice little correction, good. Good. And hell, that was the best healing we've done yet. So let's just not push it any further. Let's stop and let her realize, home run. You really did a nice job there, Makina, heel. And now think about doing it twice in a row. Good, heel. Good. Good. Nope. She'll learn from that one. Nope. Remember the last time she was, I called it slingshotting. As soon as I made a turn, she accelerated out of that. <coughs> That's what she was doing there and I corrected her twice. Good, and she's responding to it nice. When I say responding, I mean she's, she's moving with me at my pace. Let's see if she does it here. Eh, not the worst, not the best. She was out of position, but it didn't take a correct, I didn't pop her. Cause I gave her a chance and you know what? She was trying there. She swung out, but she looked to me and I think she almost caught herself and went, damn it, I screwed that up again. I gave her a chance. Good, heal. Good. Good. I don't know that I like that turn on her end. We'll worry about that later. I'm gonna turn into her here. That's gonna get her caught. Not nah. <clears throat> turned into her because she kept turning into me. Every time I stopped, she'd turn into me. So she's gonna realize, hell, he might turn the other way. And if I turn the other way and walk into her while she's facing me, that doesn't work. Good. There's a nice adjustment. We'll worry about her back feet in a minute. I'm gonna get her to kind of back up with her hind quarters, but we'll work. We'll get there. Nope. She's real sporty today. Good. I can turn into her today because she's learning. She's in a state of mind to learn. Where the other couple days, if I'd have turned into her, she'd have hundred she'd have locked up on me. Today I'm turning into her and she's kind of sporty with me. When I say sporty, she's playful with it. She's okay, okay, okay. She wants to work with me today. Prior lessons, if I turned into her, which would have thrown her off and been a little bit stressful for her, I think it would have completely shut her down and she'd have quit. She'd have just, she just stuck her feet down on the ground and said, this sucks, I'm not doing it. We'd, I'd have got frustrated. Now nah, today we can get that. We can start doing that. Makina, Makina, heal. I want her attention. I want her to pay attention to me before we start moving. Good. Give her an easy turn to start away from her. Can't hardly screw that up. And then we'll turn into her now. Good. Good. There's a nice little turn. Good. Don't let her boil over. There. Look at that little back. Very good. When I say back, we'll talk about it in another session, but we're going to back her with her hind quarters, and that's real unnatural for a dog. They lead with their front, not their back. Nope. 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 There. You see, I just, she gets tangled up, we work out of it. But I'm not gonna allow her to stop and I'm not gonna let that behavior stop my process. You jump up on me, I keep moving. It's just not a good move. 
She'll learn. Good. Oh, you're there. Good. That time she made, took a funky way of getting there, but she got there, meaning out of the way. That's beautiful right there. Come on. And then we pull out of it. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Good. Nice, fast pace. Go, go, go. Turn, stop. Easy. Beautiful. Good. Good. Ah, ah. Good. Ah, 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 ah. Nope. Good. I'll just take a, just did not plan, heel. did not plan on doing that today, but man, she's doing so well. So we'll stop her. We'll swing out in front of her with that traffic cop stop. It's kind of like a remote sit without the sit. I'm not going to necessarily tell her to sit right now. Good. 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 Sneak back in. Heel. Heel. God, that's a good girl. There's a good dog. Good. Best session yet today. She's getting kind of cold. You can see a little shaking on her. Look at those pretty marks coming out of her. Good dog. That's it. That's a done session. Best session we've had yet. Those, these are the ones that feel good. These are the ones that you feel like you got somewhere. Now, which, now what I think about is, okay, how come? And it's because we were more consistent with what we're asking out of her. We didn't just ask it every other day or every third day and have it do it with the cameras. And yeah, Logan, move in. I don't care if you move right now because I want her to get used to that and I want her to be comfortable with it. Now you can tell, oh, a little nervous, a little nervous. Come on, heel. Good. Good. And so the next time we'll have it, go ahead and Logan move over a little bit. I'm just going to have you move. I want you to move. I want you to be part of this session. Good. Because if we can get past you moving a little bit, especially after a good session like that, and we can continue to keep walking. Sit. Good. Good. I'm not going to ask her to walk while you're walking. Heel. Good. Good girl. Another nice little part of today. So really good session today um cold a little cold a little colder than i had planned it to be but um i'll end this i'll bring her in i think the girls are making sushi tonight so it's gonna be a big family thing we'll have dogs on, the, on their places she'll go right in her place and i bet you she will be a saint i think she's gonna go in there she's gonna eat pretty quick so she'll get a belly full she'll be resting her mind more so than physically this is probably the least amount of physical activity she's gotten with me in a day because we just the day got away on us but i still think she'll probably rest really really well good so that's it really nice session